would you want to pay 210 pounds for for shoes that you use for training hi guys it's matt here how's everyone doing i hope everyone's doing fabulous i'm back with another review a uh, running shoe review actually uh, of a very special shoe well it's special for a, a number of reasons but one of the one of the special thing about this shoe is that it's illegal to use on races uh, it has a very high stack height under the heel and it just looks pretty cool so i'm going to be talking about the new balance super comp trainer which has just been released recently in the us and in the uk and i managed to get hold of a pair and it is a strange experience around these shoes uh, and I, I thought i'm going to share this with you what 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 i like about the shoes what i don't like about the shoes and whether you should buy the shoes or not uh, especially considering that they're not the cheapest uh, training shoes out there but before we get to that point uh, i just want to give a big big shout out to all my viewers in the us well everywhere else as well but especially in the us because most of my viewers are from the us thank you very much guys check out my videos i'm i'm super grateful for everyone who is you know who's viewing these videos you know leaves a like subscribe to my channel and leaves a comment because really i i appreciate that like I hardly ever leave a comment or subscribe or like any videos on YouTube so yeah any like I you know I'm super I'm super grateful for everybody watching this video and again big big shout out to everyone in the US okay so the New Balance Supercom Trainer is a new training shoe from New Balance uh, I mean it's in the, in the name as well and it is a very special shoe because it has a very tall stack height so the you got 47 millimeters of foam under the heel and 39 millimeters of foam under the under the forefoot which if you think about it 39 millimeters is the the amount of foam so like the the, the, the height of the foam you usually get under what's called super super shoes such as the alpha fly or all the way to fly or the matter speed edge whatever plus and you got the same amount of foam under the forefoot of the shoe and you got even more at the heel so it has an eight millimeter drop very tall stack height and it is uh, available in both in the uk and the us uh, in the us it's 180 dollars and in the uk it's 210 pounds and i'm not quite sure why it's it's a massive price difference between the uk and the us Again, I couldn't work out why. I did reach out to New Balance to clarify a few things about the shoes. They haven't gone back to me just yet. At, so I can't really put it in the video what, what they're gonna reply. But uh, if, if they reply and once they reply, I'm gonna put in, uh, put in a description of the video of their reply and hopefully gonna clarify the price difference as well. Just one more thing before we move on to talking about what I like about the shoes and what I don't like about the shoes uh, is the weight. So as you can imagine, these shoes are not the lightest of shoes out there. I guess it's well i guess you would assume but you don't have to assume because there are quite a lot of high stack shoes that are very light but this isn't one of them so this one is a, a 10 and a half uk a size 10 and a half uk which is a size 11 in the us and this weighs 300 and oh wait uh, 329 grams which is over 11.2 ounces so pretty heavy what is the new balance supercom trainer according to new balance this is their most advanced daily trainer and it features a number of very exciting technologies, such as the Energy Arc, which you can find under the heel. This is the extra stack height as far as I'm concerned. I did reach out to New Balance to clarify this, uh, because uh, on the product description, it says uh, the shoes as like, as a feature for the shoe, it has the, the carbon plate, which you can also find, you know, you can also find in the midsole, embedded in the midsole. And then you also got the Energy Arc um, technology. Uh, and I thought it was the, as the same thing, but it could be this this unit here under the heel, which is like you know gives an extra so a bit of extra you know tallness to the to the stack height in the rear. So you got energy arc, you got the carbon plate, you got the fuel cell foam, which is the the you know the big chunk uh, of the of the of the shoe, essentially under the heel, under the forefoot. Uh, the fuel cell is is the same fuel cell that's used like uh, you know across the wide variety of, of uh, New Balance trainers. Other than that, you got you got this upper that uh, features uh, no stitches, uh, well uh, no stitches in the inside anyway, so to reduce chafing and and it's also like obviously an engineered mesh, highly breathable uh, and it, it's very comfortable to wear in the midsection. And there's also like this gusseted uh, integrated tongue uh, at, the, at the top which again is, is very nice uh, and it reduces the you know it reduces the pressure from the midsection of the fur as tongue most usually do this is kind of like a stretchy tongue as well 
uh, unlike some of the tongues and tongues in other super shoes that are kind of like you know just very very thin and not not flexible whatsoever there's no padding around here but it is it is kind of flexible it, it provides a sock like fit as you as you you know as you know a lot of these running shoes modern running shoes have a similar kind of sock like fit uh, the ultra boost has it uh, even to some degree the alpha fly 2 has it uh, and this you know the new balance super Com trainer definitely has that kind of that kind of feel why are these shoes illegal to use on races according to world athletics well the world athletics says that the on on road races the highest the the maximum stack height of any running shoe that is used on races is 40 millimeter at the highest point and these shoes obviously have 47 millimeter of foam under the heel which is above this uh, you know limit and therefore if you if you run on races and if you if you did it in a time that would be you know considered a record it wouldn't be taken as a record because because it's just not you know it's too tall basically and now let's talk about well the, the the main thing let's talk about what is good about this shoe and what is not good about the shoe so i have found five things that i actually really like about the supercom trainer and three things i'm like not you know overly enthusiastic about i'm gonna start with the the five positive things about the shoes uh, the first of which is is actually the stack height and it is something that i guess you don't experience often uh, this much foam under the under the heel and uh, well and then the forefoot as well it's just it's such a soft experience to land on these shoes obviously this is a this is a high stack carbon training shoe so it is not dissimilar to the experience of when you run in the vapor flies when you run in the matter speeds etc etc however it is taller than those shoes and and you could feel the extra extra stack height under especially under the heel it's it's super bouncy it's it's kind of like running on clouds and i know i used it i think i used it last time for the for the bondi 8 review that it's like running on clouds but this one actually it, it kind of feels like that you are running running on something very very soft that is preserved that, like the there is no there is no impact for essentially on your joints because the shoe is gonna take it all away and help you return it to like forward momentum and again, it's just, it's such a unique experience. It's like unbelievable. The second thing I really like about the shoes is the, the carbon plate and then the energy arc. And then the reason why I like it is not because it's there, because again, there are plenty, you know, running shoes with carbon plates in them. But just like the Bondi X, which was the Bondi 8's like predecessor, or like, uh, you know, not necessarily, you know, like uh, you got the Bondi 7, you got the Bondi X and the Bondi 8. But anyway, the, it, it kind of brings the carbon plate high stack so philosophy to people who are not into racing that much right if you are if you just want to try those shoes but you don't want to you know you don't want to race you, you want the extra stability you, you it's it's quite hard to justify the price and it's quite hard to justify to get a shoe like the Asics Meta Speed Edge Plus or Sky Plus or the Vaporfly because they are a bit unstable. They are a bit like, you know, even with the, the newer iterations that are said to be more stable, you know, Alpha Fly 2, they changed it so it's more, it's more balanced. You've got a wider heel and all that, but it's not quite, it's not quite as accessible. And then stuff like the uh, Supercom Trainer, brings it to the masses the the carbon plate and then the foam and you could you could enjoy this a similar experience to those shoes but but in the in a in a form of a training shoe which i think is is really nice and we need more of these shoes to to help everyone kind of enjoy this experience of of, of high stack carbon plate experience really uh, and i think it's really nice in these shoes in particular the third thing i like about the shoes is the design actually the the aesthetics of the shoes i think New Balance, I mean, New Balance obviously is very familiar with how to make nice and handsome looking sneakers. And the understated design of the Supercom trainer makes it ideal to kind of use it as a, as a, you know, as a sneaker as well as a running shoe. So again, it kind of adds to the versatility of the shoes that you can use it for, you know, you can use it as an everyday trainer. The fourth thing that I really like about the shoes is actually the heel area. I, I talked about obviously the midsole under the, under the heel, but there's also the upper and the, and the heel counter it's it's very soft and again sock like fit but some of the sock like fits are not quite as firm but uh, the supercom trainer is has this like kind of perfect balance between being sock like and comfortable uh, and cupping the heel but also being firm enough to to help you move forward without you know your your heel wriggling around in the shoes there's just the right amount of padding there's just about the right amount of firmness and again super super comfortable and again you got the hit like the 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 color of the shoe is is soft enough so there's no chafing there's no rubbing perfect well done uh, new balance and the fifth thing that i really like about the shoes is is also the midsection of the of the upper as i said the, the tongue is very stretchy and because there's no there's no you know stitching or anything in in the way 
I, I never felt any sort of pressure or discomfort in the midsection of the foot under the under the lace cage because it just it's not there. You know, you got you got a very nice heel, so you, your foot sits very well in the shoes and the lace cage kind of pulls the whole thing together, and then you got you got the nice integrated tongue which which sort of dispenses this this force from the from the midsection. So you know this area is super super comfortable, really. It's 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 really nice. Okay, so now we got the positives out of the way. Let's talk about the three things I don't particularly like about the super comp trainer, new balance super comp trainer. Trainer. First of them is I kind of mentioned this that the weight of the shoe it's a heavy shoe and I don't I'm not quite sure if I understand why it's very heavy. It might be this energy arc that makes it heavy because it uses the uh, the fuel cell midsole and foam and and that's not not the heaviest foam. Again, there are there are very light you know carbon shoes that uses the same foam from New Balance that are much much lighter than this one, maybe even like one third lighter. And I'm not quite sure if I understand why it's so heavy. I guess it's a training shoe, so it doesn't have to be super light. However, uh, considering that the upper is, is very lightweight, from what I can tell, and it's very, you know, very thin as well, uh, I just, I guess I don't understand why, why it has to be so, so heavy. Again, you've got the carbon plate, you've got a nice responsive foam. So I would, I would, I guess I would like this to be a bit lighter so I can, I can enjoy longer distance runs as well. Uh, a bit more in the shoes. The second thing I don't like about the shoes is the uh, the forefoot actually, the, the, the upper of the forefoot, this reinforced bit at the front, it's very shallow. So the, it, the shoes, the upper is, is comfortable almost all the way through. And then as you hit the forefoot section, it's just kind of, it's too narrow and it kind of closes up very quickly. And again, it's very, very, it kind of presses on the, the toenails, which again, if you use it for long distance running, it will it will result in your toenails falling off, which is not a nice, nice thing. I wish there was another way to reinforce the forefoot section. It just kind of presses, presses the toes the wrong way, at least in my case. And then the third and final thing that I don't like about the shoes is the price. As I said, it's nice that there is a carbon plated high stack running shoe that you can use for training. However, it's what, 210 pounds in the UK, $180 in the US. To, to spend that much on shoes for training uh, that are kind of heavy, and again, the, the, you know, the fit is not, not quite there, is, is a big ask from New Balance. If this was $160 and pounds, uh, I think that would be fine. I think, I think that, would be, that would be an acceptable price for this shoe, but 210 pounds or $180, it's, it might be a bit too expensive. Should you buy the New Balance Supercom Trainer it's a trick question or tricky question because again, as I said, it's pretty expensive. It's not, it's far from being perfect, but it's a very interesting uh, running experience. If you've got a disposable income and if you're looking for something, you know, a different running experience and you like running uh, New Balance running shoes, uh, you, I mean, I, I would recommend it because this is, this is a very interesting New Balance running shoe. If you like how the shoes look, if you, if you can justify the price, go for it, but, but it's not cheap you know, so there is that. So that was it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. This was slightly different. Uh, I guess I kind of use something like what I use for my variable review. So, you know, what I like and what I don't like about the shoes. I feel like it makes the information a bit more easily digestible. Uh, let me know if you like this uh, this structure because I can, I can just do all the reviews in this format. And uh, again, there's more exciting stuff coming and I've got the Saucony Endorphin Pro 3 which I, well, I should have reviewed this week, but I had literally zero time to review things uh, this week. So that's coming as well, as well as other running shoe reviews. And I've got some, uh, I might might actually go to um, to launch of a new Adidas shoe as well to the US, which would be super interesting. And if, if I will go, I will, I will let you know guys how it went. Uh, again, as always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and you know consider subscribing. I shall see you guys very, very soon. Cheers, bye.